In this video, we'll be setting up self-assignable roles. Yay! <laughs> Once you know your way around with bots and roles on Discord, self-assignable roles are actually pretty easy to set up, so let's get to work. We'll be creating a color menu, so the members of your server can change the color of their names by themselves. For this, we'll be using the JackPDB bot, which has proven to be very reliable actually. Let's create a channel to put the role menu in. Now, we're gonna create the roles that will be included in the menu, which in this case are the colors, and we're going to name them appropriately. Now, in the menu, the colors will be displayed in the form of emojis. So I've taken the time to design them and I've included a download link for these images in the description. They are like free for you to use. Sure. Well, you can buy me a coffee, but okay. Let's upload the color emojis. I'm, I'm pretty sure you should know this by now. Great. With the color emojis uploaded, now let's set up the bot that's going to do all the work for us. The official website for the YakPDB bot is yakpdb.xyz. We need the bot in our server, so the first thing we do is invite the bot by clicking on add to server. We select our server and click continue. I usually refrain from giving bots the administrator permission, but for now it's alright. Let's just hit authorize and the bot will be express delivered to our server. Free shipping, yay! Okay, so now that we have the bot, we need to set up a few things in the bot's website. So go back to yakpdb.xyz, click login with Discord in the upper right corner. And right next to that, click on select server. Once selected, it will automatically take you to the dashboard. We'll be looking for tools and utilities on the left side of the screen and then roll commands. Let's pause for a second and let's understand what we're doing. Since your Discord server has a bunch of roles that might not be related to the color ones, we're going to separate these color roles and put them in a group, which will allow the bot to know that the people can only have one of these roles from that group at a time. Makes no sense for a member to have several color roles assigned if only one of them will take effect on the name, right? Okay. So we create a group called colors and we set the mode to single. The require roles option will be useful, for example, when you have like a verification system and you would like that only the people with a particular role to be able to change the color of the name. For now, we'll leave this turned off. Now, remember what I told you about a minute ago about members having only one color at the same time? This is the option that makes sure it works that way. So turn on remove existing role when assigning another role in group and click shive. Now the group has been created and we need to tell the bot which roles we want in that group. And that's the color roles, of course. When you go to choose the roles to assign, you might see that you cannot select them. This is because there is a problem with the role hierarchy. God damn, such a fancy word. Let's go back to Discord and fix it. Let's open the list of roles, and as you can see, even though the bot has administrator permissions, it is below the colors, and a role cannot control another that is above it. So we need to move up the bot's role on top of the colors. And shive changes. Now that we've fixed that, we refresh the dashboard and try again. See? It's working now. So now we select the role, name it the same way, and hit create new role command. And the same for all the others. Okay, so now we scroll down a little and make sure that they all match. If they do, all it lets to do is go back to this code. Now, we have two ways of displaying the color menu. Either the bot creates it for you, or you can add your own message and then create the color menu below it. I'm gonna show you both ways. But first, the bot, because it's the easiest way. In the chat, type the following. Dash, roll menu, create, colors, dash, no DM. The no DM command prevents this from happening. Once you type that in, it will ask you to assign the corresponding emoji to each color. And we do just that, you know? Once we're done, we can delete the bottom message. And let's see if this works. Ah, look at this. My color changing. For the second way of doing it, if you want it on your own custom message, you need to tweak a few settings first. Let's get rid of this and send our own custom message. You need to obtain the ID of your message, and that only shows when you have developer mode on. To turn it on, go to user settings, appearance, scroll down and toggle developer mode on. Exit out of settings, or you can stay settings and like not do anything, just stare at the screen. And as you can see, now you can get the message ID. We're going to copy the same command we did earlier, but this time we're going to add something more. We add 
dash m. We copy the message ID and paste it right after dash m to have something like this. So dash row menu create colors dash m message ID dash no dm. We're gonna get the same setup as before. Wash, rinse, repeat, delete the relevant message, and voila! It's so beautiful. <laughs> You have yourself a dope ass color menu. Congratulations, mate. You made it all the way through. I'm very proud of you. Go buy yourself a chocolate. And before we move on to the next module, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. That concludes the self-assignable roles module in this course. If you have any suggestions that might help others, feel free to leave them in the comments below and stick around for the next video in this course, which will show up on the screen right about now. So you mem so the members of your so the members of your server can change the name of their names what the fuck